Now, everything that we've talked about so far with these expression-based audit policies is awesome until you realize that one of the, I guess, fallout effects, the unintended consequences of really dialing down the expression is that if you need to reuse that in other locations, it can get a little unwieldy to try to copy and paste that content to all the different folders that you're charged with managing. And so it's for that reason that Microsoft now includes a 10th major category here titled Global Object Access Auditing, which is a mechanism to use the same expression-based view that we saw just a second ago and apply it to really everywhere where this group policy object would apply. As you'll see here with Global Object Access Auditing, you can choose to identify that or associate it with the file system or with registry locations as well. Let's focus here for our purposes on the file system resource, where you'll see exactly just like we saw before, if we define the policy setting and choose to configure it, we end up with the exact same expression builder that we saw just a second ago. So everything you see here is exactly what we were looking at before. I can choose a security principle, for example, domain users, define the type and the permissions, and even add in conditions that will be applied everywhere where this group policy object applies. So again, if you, if you really know that these are the kinds of things and these are the people that you're interested in auditing, you can very easily replicate this out to multiple machines and multiple different files and folders by just simply configuring a global object access auditing entry.